Welcome one and all aboard the home of the Hype Train and our dedicated football team Hype Train FC. The team are nearing the final stretches of 2022 with our 11th game of the season of the 22-23 season, seeing the team host Burfield FC's A-team in the quarter-finals of the Reading District Sunday League's Industrial Cup. This game took place on Sunday the 4th of December 2022 and it was our final game of the calendar year. The train's journey in the competition up until this point saw us overcome South Bank FC on penalties in the first round before a 5-1 away win against Cavisham AFC in the last 16 set up our latest encounter against Burfield down at Calcott Recreation Ground. The visitors from Burfield were in their blue home kit for the occasion with the train in our orange and black strip from Kit Locker. Jamie Hussle started in between the sticks for the club and head of Jamie the defensive line consisted of Nikhil Garget left back, Josh Watkins and Callum Gibbons in central roles in the heart of the team with Joe Sawyer at right back. In midfield Tom Williams sat in defensive midfield and was joined by Cosman Hulalea and Liam Bobrick with width that wide in support offered by Phil Newport on the left and Owen Bobrick on the right both in support of Leon Mann in the lone forwards position. Among the substitutes for the game, we had Robert Austin managing and joined by Alvin Mugabe, Walid Zaki and Brad Matthews. If you're a new visitor on this hop train or a returning passenger, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the club's YouTube channel today. The club is as modern as they come. We're across all major social media platforms, as well as housing match reports, photo galleries, club updates, videos and more on our dedicated website hypetrainfc.com. Whilst you can check out our parent website thehypetrain.co.uk, which houses articles and videos surrounding the worlds of fantasy football, wider general football discussion and more. Let's begin the proceedings around three minutes into the game here with a Burfield dead ball inside their own half that is punted to the edge of the box though cleared away initially by a defensive line though the second ball falls to a Burfield player and is squeezed for our defensive line here to one of their centre backs to finish off here the team are in arms the goal was actually offside if you pause it by a little bit but Burfield have a lead there were plenty of opportunities for the team to get back into the game in the first half here and we start again with a Burfield set piece that looks eerily similar to the goal that they scored just moments ago though on this occasion the team are able to put the ball down the line here with Leon in chase Leon actually gets the goalkeeper off of his line before he backtracks here and in the long weeds down on the left hand side Leon beats his defender before cutting the ball across to Owen Bobrick who takes a touch and fires across the goal and it's just wide Next up from a long throw in Liam Bobrick picks out the edge of the box though a Burfield player wins the ball. The seconds falls to Phil Newport and then it goes to Leon who takes a touch and a hit and it's well saved by Burfield's keeper. Three opportunities in quick succession now here for the team as we win the ball in midfield here. Tom Williams does excellently to ghost away from a player and he picks out Owen Bobrick with one hell of a pass here that falls out to Owen who takes a shot and it's wide of the mark hitting the side netting. We now have a set piece with Cosmin stood over the ball here. He's got a lot of orange shirts to aim at in the box with Joe Sawyer, the right back, winning the header, though it's wide of the mark. More action for the team down the right hand side of the pitcher as Joe Sawyer is battling with one of Birdfield's defenders. The ball is cleared out but only to Cosmin who puts in a cross though it only falls out to Tom Williams who does well here to get away from a marking man and he fires in a shot that clips off the crossbar. A first half of chance after chance for the team would wrap up here with this one last opportunity which starts with Nikhil Gargat left back finding the feet of Leon in attack here. Leon's faced with three or four defensive players though somehow the ball manages to bubble through. The break's on as Leon takes a shot but Burfield's keeper makes another good save. The second half started with a crowded penalty error with Liam Bobrick putting the ball into the box here. Leon wins the initial head and the shot on goal by Phil is wide of the mark again. Win it! Win it! Keep on! Phil! There was now a dead ball for the team with Josh Watkins stood over the effort here. The ball goes into the penalty area and Leon is unmarked and for the third time in the game the goalkeeper has matched Leon stride for stride. Oh, 
We're now on the left-hand side of the pitch here and some sloppy plays sees Burfield eventually win the ball back with their winger, their number nine, doing excellently here to jinx with one of our players. Josh Watkins, though, at centre-back has come over to make an excellent covering tackle to deny a one-on-one. -on -one. Moments ago, our entrusted goalkeeper Jamie Hussle had collected a ball in the air here and what he does is he looks long, the ball is skimmed over the Burfield defence, it bubbles over with Leon running one on one now, he takes a good touch into the penalty area and the goalkeeper for the fourth time, this goalkeeper's having an absolute mad one, makes the save. Oh, the corner kick was taken by Cosmin who lay it on the far side of the pitch and he whips in a low effort to the yeah. near post and the diving head of Phil Newport wins the head it goes in off the net and back out again as the team finally have their weak riser Finally, the breakthrough moment for the team. It was what we needed and it was what we deserved in the game here as we're working the ball nicely on the left-hand side here. We get the ball out to Leon, who's in the penalty area. He crosses in for Owen at the back post. Owen puts the ball back across, though Burfield are able to clear away. What this would all lead to is a controversial moment here as Liam has a throw in that's well into the penalty area again here. We win the initial head with it coming out to Owen Bobrick who collides with the goalkeeper. Phil Newport puts it into an empty net. The referee points as you can see here to the halfway line. The goal's given but what happens is that the referee notices that the goalkeeper's gone down. The Burfield players start coming over to him talking about the fact that he had been hit in the head here but as you can see on a replay the goalkeeper comes out. He's not actually touched in the head at all. He flaps at the ball, completely misses it. There's a slight argument that you could make about Owen potentially going in for high, though there's no discernible contact. He goes down for about five minutes. The referee in the midst of all of this actually rules out the goal for the team. It's a Burfield free kick. There's some aftermath for the team as we're aggrieved by the fact that the goal's been ruled out. And what it means after all of that was that the goal gets ruled out. Burfield have 1-0 and the goalkeeper plays on for the rest of the game. So after a lengthy explanation here and seeing Burfield's goalkeeper all fine and well to play in the game again here we have an opportunity starting on the right with Liam Bobrick doing well to combine with Leon Liam cuts in, fires a shot in at the goalkeeper and it's away by Burfield a familiar sight again down the right hand side with a Liam Bobrick long throw with the number nine Leon doing really well here to use his strength to control the ball. He unleashes a shot though it's bubbled away and the ball eventually falls out to Alvin Mugabe whose footwork isn't quite there on as a substitute to deny the team. And then we pick up immediately after Burfield to put the ball down the other end with Leon doing well to drive into the heart of the Burfield team. He's got support by Alvin on the right and Phil on the left though he decides to go through the middle if the options open he's brought down just outside the the penalty area and the team have a free kick from range stood over the free kick was number six Tom Williams here the Burfield wall is set just to his right hand side the goalkeeper's right in the middle though Tom picks out the corner excellently as the team finally have a lead It was a really good second half for the team and we'd come back really well here and now we were looking to get the third goal to see the game out of sight here. We do have one opportunity here with Callum Gibbons providing a header though the Burfield goalkeeper collects well. At that point he had probably made about six or seven saves from Leon alone and three or four more from the team here and now we're attacking with Cosmin taking a shot from range and the goalkeeper again is at hand but Leon somehow misses the follow up. We now rejoin with a dummy here by Brad Matthews to give the ball to Tom Williams again. Tom shows some excellent strength and determination here to see off the advances of a Burfield player. What he sees is the goalkeeper off of his line. He chips it. The goalkeeper's made an excellent recovery save and a follow-up block by the defender sees it out for a corner. Yeah, 
I've said this on our channel a few times. If you don't but away your chances, this happens in football. There's a break by Burfield, a crossfield ball that comes out to their number nine who switch flanks all of a sudden out of nowhere. Burfield have drawn level at 2-2 and the game is again on a knife edge. The Burfield goal took place around four or five minutes before the end of the game here. And as you can see, there's one last effort for the team, but the referee, Mark Firminger, blows for full time. It was a disappointing end to the game and it goes straight to penalty kicks. Boys, you need to shake off the game. Shake off the game now, just focus on one thing. That's all you've got. They're going to be up for it. They're going to be loud. Boys, come on. Fuck, there's a penalty shootout like the lottery, isn't it? Yeah. Just fucking don't do it. Just fuck out of your lace screen. What I'll do is bow out here in a really tense panel to shoot out between the teams. Burfield in blue opted for the team in orange hype train to go first, with number nine Leon Mannion first stepping up to the mark. Come on! 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 Come on!
Amidst the celebrations for Burfield after a frustrating day in front of goal, we unfortunately bow out of the RDSL Industrial Cup on penalties in the most gruelling way imaginable. We wish Burfield, of course, nothing but the best of luck in the semi-finals of the competition and we're hoping here that you guys can go all the way. Next up for the team on our YouTube channel, we hope to bring you highlights of the team's third encounter of the season against South Bank FC in the Bucks and Bucks FA Sunday Trophy with both of our games before the 2022 schedule was done being thwarted and postponed due to frozen pitches over the Christmas period. We look forward to bringing you some great changes of our YouTube channel in 2003 and of course, as ever, believe the hype.